Hey guys, I'm Mahesh Nanda and welcome to my channel The Learning Curve. In this video, I'm gonna tell you few questions that are related to enterprise structure in sales and distribution. So let's get started. The first question is what is enterprise structure? Enterprise structure specifies the structure of an organization which is like head office, branch office, plans, something, etc. etc. So it's it specifies the structure of any organization like it explains you what is a distribution channel, what is a, what are the divisions they have, so something like that. So you you find structure of any organization in enterprise structure. So let's go to next question. What is a company code actually? So company code is an organizational unit which is responsible for external financial transactions which happens in the company. External financial transactions are balance sheet and profit and loss statement. So what is a sales organization? Sales organization is an organizational unit which is responsible for sales and services which happens in the company. What is a distribution channel? It is a way of selling goods and the way of distributing goods to end customer. What is a sales line? Sales line is a combination of sales organization and distribution channel. And in interviews, interviewer may ask you how many sales line you have in your project. So to answer this question, uh, be prepared yourself and have a specific number about this question. So what is a division? Division specify the range 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 of products in a product line. What is sales area? Sales area is combination of sales org, distribution channel, and division. So how many sales areas you have in your project? The same way like sales line. So be prepare yourself uh, to have a number to answer the question. To answer this question. What is sales office? Sales office is a physical location where group of people work together to perform sales activities. In other words, in simple words, it's a branch office. So what is sales group? Group of people within a sales office but perform different activities. What is plant and who is responsible to define plant? Plant is a physical location uh, where we manufacture goods and MM consultant is responsible to define plant. So what is shipping point? Shipping point is a physical location where we do the process of loading the goods. What is a depot? So depot is a physical location uh, where we store the finished goods for the easy distribution process. What is CNF? CNF means carry and forward. It is also a physical location where we store the finished goods for easy distribution purpose, but it is, it is maintained by third party. So what is the relationship between company code and plant? This is a bit a tricky question. Uh, be prepare yourself to have an answer to, uh, to crack this question in interview. So in this example, this is one to many, which means a company code uh, can have multiple plans but if you face a question so what is the relationship between a plant and company code that should be one to many which means a plant cannot have multiple company codes but company code can have multiple plans So what is the relationship between plant and shipping point? So it's actually one to many, but you know, uh, in a specific scenarios where clients have multiple plants are located in the same place. So in this scenario, it can be many to many to many. So what is the relation between company code and sales arc? It is also one to many because one company code can have multiple sales arc, but 
one sales sub cannot be assigned to multiple company codes. So what is the purpose of early data of purchase order in sales organizations? So, so these fields you find in sales sub this is one of the fields in sales organization. So ALD means application and linking and enabling. So if you maintain ALD in data in IPO and third party in sales organization, then system automatically creates PO. So this is helpful in IPO and third party process. What is a rebate process active? It's also one of the fields in sales organization. So it is one of the prerequisites to process rebates in sales organization what is a rebate actually so a rebate is a special kind of discount and it's a conditional discount which will be valid for over a period of time what is the purpose of address text in sales organization same way it is also one of the fields in sales organization so address text will help to get the address of sales organization to be printed on the output What is the purpose of statistic currency in sales organization? So this field controls in which currency sales report should be displayed. So whatever field you mention, whatever currency you mention here, in that way, sales report will be displayed. If you mention USD, your sales report will be displayed in USD. If you mention INR, the sales report should display in INR. So this field controls the sales report currency. What is the purpose of pick pack time? So it is a one of the parameter to determine delivery schedule. This field helps to how to how many days a delivery schedule should be processed. So you might face a question like diff how do you define different sales organization? Which means you have to mention the path for this so below is the path so you go to SPRO select enterprise structure and click on definition and again select sales and distribution and click on define copy delete check and sales organization then go to de define sales organization there you have to select thousand sales arc which is already defined by system you have to copy that and define your new sales arc as per your requirement this is how we define sales organization what is the length of sales organization? It is four digits maximum. What is the significance of sales organization in enterprise structure? So it is an organization unit where the static decision will be taken to relative sales like how much discount should be given, how much uh, sales should be happened, something like that which are related to sales, they take decisions here. It is an organization unit where we find higher management of sales. How do you define shipping point? Go to SPRO, select enterprise structure, go to logistic execution and click on define copy delete check shipping point then select thousand and copy that and change the name and code as per your requirement. This is how we define shipping point and SD, SD consultant is responsible to shipping defined point. Sorry, define shipping point. How shipping point determined into sales documents? Shipping conditions from the customer master, loading group from the material master and plant. So what is a T code to determine shipping point? It is OVL2. What are the assignments that SD consultant are responsible in enterprise structure? So these are the assignments SD consultant are responsible for in enterprise structure. The first uh, first is we assign sales organization to company code and we assign distribution channel to sales organization and we assign division to sales organization and we set up sales areas and we assign sales officers to sales areas, we assign sales group to sales offices and we assign sales organization distribution channel to plant 
and we assign shipping point to plant. These are SD consultant responsibilities for assignments in enterprise structures. What is the T code to see total enterprise structure? It is EC01. What do you mean by company anyway? So company is an organizational unit which helps to group the multiple company goals. What is the length of company? It's six digits. These are some important questions guys. I uh, hope you like this video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe our channel to get more videos like this. Thank you for watching my video and have a nice day.